Hello and welcome to the Power of One. The Civil Aviation Ministry used to be one of the most sought-after high-profile ministries, but it has also turned into a crown of thorns. And no one knows that better than Viola Ravi ever since he took over as the Civil Aviation Minister, inheriting a legacy which even by modest accounts would be called controversial. And now the latest CAG report, which indicts the ministry for spending far beyond its means, has become an additional headache for the minister. He now joins me live on the Power of One uh, for this exclusive from his home turf of Kochi in Kerala. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Ravi, for joining yeah, us. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now, just, sir, explain to us, because it's very confusing for the ordinary person to understand that on the one hand, you have a CAG report which says that the Civil Aviation Ministry from 2004, 2005 onwards spent crores of rupees way beyond its means, Air India yeah. making purchases that it couldn't afford. You're yeah. saying that this was a cabinet decision. It was yeah. taken collectively. Yeah. So where does the buck stop? Who is accountable for what has happened? No, well, I, Matt, uh, first of all, let me begin with saying that the CAG report is in, with me in my hand. Of course, my minister is studying. I also had to analyze completely. So I can't go in full detail, but I can precisely, I can say. First of all, the CAG is a constitu constitutional institution. I respect them. I no quarrel with them. But the evaluation on a commercial activity cannot be compared with the private enterprises. There I begin. The reason is there. But the point is this. 2002, the former government period, it was a decision by the Indian Airlines, that time the Air India, that for a purchase. The report had been sent to the government on 2003 and 2004, January, that government took a decision to go for a purchase of a limited number of aircraft. That time the Air India was in a great trouble because 1980, the last purchase of the acquisition of the aircraft for the Air India. 1990, they got only six aircraft, but the demand was increasing, competition was increasing, and but in, in between a dull period. But you must remember that the former government, I'm not blaming them, but the former government put Air India or the Air India into the map of disinvest, in, uh, disinvestment. So the, then the market also went dull. So they went very slow. When our government came, UPA government came, we thought obvious industry have, have prosperity and getting uh, regained the strength or is coming up in a big way. That I can give you a figure. You can imagine this. 2004, the 16 million passengers international. In 2011, Air India carried 34 million people and 18.5 million domestic. In 2004, it has gone to 54.5 million. Yes. No, no, sir, but I think, I think the point being made is that while it's true that Air India or erstwhile Indian Airlines, now it's a combined entity, Air India needed to upgrade its fleet, what the CAG is saying is why did you need to have such a huge jump from you started off by ordering something like uh, 27 planes, then you went to 68, finally you ended up ordering no, no, 111 no, no, no. planes. Uh, that was will, way I, beyond your means. No, no, I will, I will I'll correct, correct your figure. I'll correct your figure. Yes, and then because all the aircraft either Indian Airlines or in Air India, was how many years old? More than 20 years. The security question and the expenditure of repair and everything, uh, it is a big problem. We are having an aging, more than 20, 20 year old aircraft. The people may be afraid to travel that aircraft. The demand is naturally needed to be changed. Unfortunately, there was no acquisition made for some time. I agree. But when the previous government also decided to have then our government also thought better. Aviation industry is expanding. The demand is increasing. Competition is increasing. In between, the liberalization of sky, open sky policy. The private airlines also came in. It is the time for Air India to compete with others also. That is the, the reality. The no, but I, the, no, no, but yeah. when you say that, you are saying that liberalization was coming in, open sky policy and the airline industry was expanding. But was it expanding fast enough to the extent yeah. that it's, it's, a very, very financially weak and insecure yeah. entity like Air India could yeah. afford to make such purchases. I think that's no, the no, point. The, 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 yes, they could purchase the make the point because what is the, what is the loss? Yeah, I tell you, the, today as it is, only 23,000 crores is uh, to be due to the, uh, the bank for purchase of the aircraft. 
misunderstand this. 27 wide body aircraft, 787, we give an order. They never give a, they never delivered it. And we are now discussing whether it is to be, they, they, they are not delivered it. So we have the, we have the liberty to cancel it. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.